everyone, Kiwi King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to install the Paranoid Android ROM, uh, Jelly Bean ROM on your Google Nexus 7 tablet. This is actually the first ROM I am installing on my Nexus 7, so I'm pretty excited myself. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into it. So first of all, you need to make sure your bootloader is unlocked and you do have a custom recovery installed. I believe I do have Clockwork Mod installed. Uh, otherwise though, once you do have that, you can go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. Clicking on the link in the description will take you to this website. You'll see Paranoid Android, CM10, Jelly Bean, Hybrid. Uh, you'll go ahead and scroll down. We're going to need to download a couple files. Keep scrolling down. You'll see under instructions, you have a couple options. Uh, you'll see uh, install zip ROM download. Click on this first download link. It will take you to this website. Then click on ROMs and then select Grouper. Make sure you select Grouper. Uh, right there and then go ahead and download the one that's down at the bottom because that will be the latest you'll see modification time so go ahead and download the latest ROM if this has been updated or not but again grouper is the Nexus 7 so make sure that is the one that you do select uh, once you've downloaded the ROM zip you're going to need to download another file so go back to the ROM thread and you'll see install zips G apps click on this next uh, G apps download button and you'll see signage mod 10 right there, right here. It's uh, the top one for Android 4.1.1. That will be the latest Google Apps add-on zip. Go ahead and click on that and download it as well. So it'll be called gappsjb and then a bunch of numbers sign.zip. So you're gonna need two zip files, the ROM zip and the gapps add-on. Transfer both of those zip files over to your internal storage of your Nexus 7. Do not unzip them, just leave them in zip format and transfer them on over to your device. And once you have both files on your device, the ROM itself and the GApp add-on. You so now we're going to need to reboot into our custom recovery. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my app drawer. And you'll see I do have an application called Quick Boot. You can find that in the Play Store. Uh, once you have this application, you, are, you can just go ahead and select Recovery. And then Granted Super User Permissions. And then it's going to go ahead and automatically reboot you into your custom recovery. That would be the easiest way to reboot yourself into your custom recovery. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it reboot me into Clockwork Mod, you'll see right there, Clockwork Mod 5.8.0.2 up at the top, right there. So now I'm ready to install this ROM. So to navigate through Clockwork Mod, you can go ahead and use the volume up and down and power button to select if you would like to. You can also use the touch screen. It's, it's really up to you, so you have the option to use to use both. Uh, otherwise though, first thing I highly recommend doing before you install a ROM or before you do install a ROM is go ahead and go to Backup and Restore and make a Nandroid backup. What that's going to do is back up your entire ROM that you are currently running and if you restore that backup it'll put it exactly where it was uh, with all the data saved, everything. So I need to do this myself. So I'm going to go ahead and run through and make an Android backup. And Android backups do take a bit of time to uh, run through and do so go ahead and be patient with an Android backup and I'll be back once it's done All right, and you will see down at the bottom backup the complete the backup did take a while So if anything does happen you get stuck in a boot loop or anything go ahead and go into your custom recovery and Then restore this Android backup. That would be the safest option So now that we have an Android backup we are ready to go first of all uh, What uh, the developer recommends for this ROM is if you're coming from another ROM other than paranoid Android He does recommend doing a full wipe so go ahead and go to wipe data factory reset and hit yes delete all user data. This is gonna go ahead and wipe your your apps, your contacts, everything that's on the device. So um, you can use apps such as Titanium Backup and such to back up applications and, and things like that. But otherwise, uh, once done with the factory reset, go ahead and wipe cache partition and hit yes, wipe cache. We'll go ahead and wipe your cache partition, then go to the advanced menu and hit wipe Dalvik cache and hit yes. So go ahead and wipe your data, your cache, your Dalvik cache, and then hit go back again. And now once your data cache, Dalvik cache is all wiped, go ahead and go to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and then find that ROM zip itself. PA grouper, uh, obviously because grouper is the Nexus 7. So go ahead and select that ROM zip and hit yes, install. So go ahead and install the ROM itself first. Uh, ROM installations will take a little bit of time. I haven't flashed one yet on my Nexus 7, so I'm not sure exactly how long. Uh, but be a little bit patient with the ROM install and I will be back. 
All right, you'll see install from SD card complete. That did not take long at all, uh, but we're not done yet. Uh, we need to install that other file. So go back to choose zip from SD card and select that G apps JB uh, add on zip. So go ahead and select that and hit yes, install. So it'll go ahead and install that, install that Google apps add on. Uh, it shouldn't take as long as the ROM install did. Uh, the ROM install only took about a minute. So uh, let it go ahead and install the Google apps. And you'll see install from SD card complete. We are now done. So go ahead and hit go back and then reboot system now. And we are done. So there we have it. Uh, our Nexus 7 tablet is going to reboot. And once booted up, we will be running the Paranoid Android ROM on our device. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys check out the boot animation. So here we go. Very cool. All the nice jelly bean colors uh, glowing in the background behind this guy. So that's actually an awesome boot animation right there. So uh, very cool there. But otherwise, I'm going to be doing a separate review video of this ROM. So you're definitely going to want to check that out. I will link to it in the description of the video. Uh, so be sure to watch that. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. You can subscribe to me as well. I'll be doing many Nexus 7 videos in the future. So be sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.